mine is up. I don't need it right now. But I do need this. So someone was asking me like how to animate like shader stuff and like sync it up to music. And a lot of times like when I ask that, they're like, oh I just um go and like mat try to match up the frames with like another software that I have running and then just time it correctly and that just seemed kind of unintuitive. So this is how I would go about doing that. First, um, I need a timeline editor. So I'm going to click on an object, on those objects, this object. And then, is that off? Yes, it is. So actually, yeah, but first I have the tutorial, let me show you what I mean when I say scrubbing audio. Some people might not know what that means, actually. Let me pause that. To show you what I mean. E, thanks for the follow. So, scrubbing audio. Scrubbing audio. To scrub audio, got to. Mm, oh, right. I deleted it. Clack. Audio preview track. Add. But yeah, I'll I'll get into how to like do all that shortly. Uh, right now, I'm just setting it up for an example. Cause this is synced to this song. Yes. So what I would do. Animation window. Why isn't it showing up? Um, did it invisible? I mean, it doesn't say it is. Yeah, it's not. It's right here. Unless this one's in the way. Which could make sense. Yeah, there we go. That's what the issue was. Right. Go back to the timeline. If Unity response. Yes, oh, that's why I accidentally started Unity Motion. That means launch Unity Motion Re. All right, now this is what we should be familiar with. Yeah, so scrubbing would be able to like just hear directly what you're working on, and like yeah. So yeah, we're going to go over how to set up Unity to do that. So I'm going to hide that and start a new one. So here, we're going to start with Music Sphere. And again, this can basically apply to literally anything. Like It doesn't matter if you're making a shader ball or whatever. We're just trying to sync up an animation with an object. So we're just going to select an object. This is my sphere object. Project timeline. We're going to go to the timeline editor, and you can find that in your Windows panel if you don't already have it as a tab. And we're going to create a director, and we're going to call it whatever. And now the object that we just have is here in the director. Now, um, this is actually a plugin called Clack. Um, you can get it on GitHub. I should post a link somewhere. Um, uh, right. Mm. Yeah, here we go. And I will post that in chat, because why not? I'll also post it to anyone who asks. It, assets. Anything, you need everything in the assets folder. Do not copy the project settings folder because then it'll trick um, Unity into thinking that your project's um, an older version of Unity and that's not good because then it'll try to convert everything to a newer version. Um, so, I mean, it probably won't hurt it, but it would just be a tremendous waste of time. 
Um, yes. Audio preview track. Now we're going to add an audio preview clip. And then from there, we can select our audio source, whatever it might be. And now to um, get it to, I'm going to press record here on the sphere. And I guess for the sake of the tutorial, I'll just scale it, just to give it something. And now we can edit an animation window and just like, any other animation, we can do it, we can save it, we can play it. And then to get it out of the director, you expand this and here's the animation we just made. We can control V it out and use it however. So yeah, and the audio won't be in it obviously, but um, it should be synced up if you just put it on a normal audio source and stuff. So yeah, that's how that works. On to commission work. Mm -hmm.